Hey guys, it's your boy King C here. I haven't said that in such a long time, it feels so weird. But yeah, it's your boy King C here. Um, as you can tell by the title, this is going to be a story time and an update. I haven't been, well, yeah, I haven't been making videos for a long time. A month, to be precise, and there kind of is a reason for that, and not. Um, the time I couldn't record, I could have recorded if that makes any sense. Um, it's just, you know, like, feeling... It's, <laughs> it's, <laughs> I'm going back to my first mixtape, you know, the way I was feeling, kind of. Um, but... This, I don't want to concentrate this video on why I wasn't recording, but I just want to get into story time. The time I thought I was going to die. So first of all, um, I went to a all-you-can-eat buffet restaurant in... Um, Sorry if my guinea pigs make a noise, you can hear them. Yeah, I went to a um, all you can eat buffet in the O2. It was called um, Jimmy's. I went there last month and um, I went there with my mum, dad, and sister. And then, yeah, so we ate, we were laughing, we were having a good time, you know, Kiki family, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and then, um, if you know me personally, you know that I like to drink. Not alcohol guys I'm talking about in general I like to drink when people say I like to drink obviously people think of alcohol but I don't mean alcohol in this context I mean like if I, if I, if I, does that make sense in this context yeah um not in this like situation basically yeah it's just meaning I like to drink like I, I drink a lot of water and when I'm at a restaurant I, I don't like seeing glasses with drinking it <laughs> I have to drink it. <laughs> so yeah, um, so my mum, me and sister shared this um, cocktail. Um, I'm not sure what it was. It had berry or cherry or whatever in it. It was red. So we could have either gone for like a single glass or a pitcher, but we went for a pitcher. So I can't remember if we stirred it. I'm sure we did. Yeah, I think my mum stirred Yeah, she did stir it, stir it. She stirred it. I drank my part. I think my sister drank all hers, my mum drank a bit of hers and um, there was a little bit of my mum's left so um, I drank it, cool and there was a bit more left in the pitcher glass you know, the um, jug looking thing so <laughs> my mum said, do you want to finish the rest? I was like, nah and then um, I just had it um, I didn't say no, nah, and I just got it and just poured it and drank it, not like that. I just said no, nah, and then I think I just had it in the end. I said, you know, I might as well just have it because we're we'll leaving at the time. Um, and then, yeah, so my mum was pouring it, and there was quite a bit left. Um, there was quite a bit left. So when my mum was pouring it, my dad's face was like, <laughs> really? And um, yeah, so I drank it. Everything was cool. And then it was some weird sensation guys, it was weird, it was like, I was getting hot, I was sweating, and let me tell you, the place was had loud music, proper loud music, you know like the, rave, the raves, raves, where it's like you can hear it in your chest, like boom, 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 and you, can, you can't really hear yourself speak, it wasn't that loud, but it was loud, um, so I thought someone was calling me, yeah, so it was quite loud, um, plus, being like full, feeling full. Um, sorry, for calling, sorry, I just had to stop it for a bit. Yeah, so um, I was full at the time. I didn't fill myself up or anything, I just felt full. I think I went up for uh, two times, I think. Two or three times I went up for, I, I think, yeah. With this buffet place. And um, yeah, so I didn't start getting hot, sweating, burning sensation on my tongue. And I was just getting panicky, I was like, <sighs> like literally, I was scared, I thought I was literally going to die, Like it felt like I was going to die, literally, and I was just like, oh my god, this can't be happening, all my days, and then, it was a horrible feeling, horrible feeling, getting myself panicky, hot, and I, and I felt like I could have, like, died right there, and the thing is, I get a lot of deja vu, so, <sighs> some things, I already feel like I've relived because I get a lot of that and yeah and I felt like I was reliving it because I've I felt like 
I um that happened to me already. So yeah, it was a horrible experience and then I turned to my mum, I said, Mum, I don't feel good. Like I was getting out of breath, my tongue was like it was burning. It was like it was like a not toast feeling, but it was like a it was weird, like a sensation on my like a burning sensation on my tongue. So then I couldn't breathe and my chest was like getting quite tight. I can't remember it, that's the thing, really. Yeah, it was getting quite tight and it's like I had to like lift my chest up. Like it was pulling like my chest my heart wanted to come out. That's how bad it was. And let me say again, loud music, hot in there, it was hot. And being full, like you know like a belly full um yeah belly full feeling hot loud music every blood clot thing yeah so that happened my dad was looking at me my mum was kind of worrying my sister i can't remember what my sister's doing but i had to get the hell out of there i needed air i had to go out i was like mum i gotta leave i have to leave because i feel like i'm literally going to die so we went out i was walking and I remember saying to my mum that I remember that if I wanted to, I could have gone. Like, I could have fainted or passed out or whatever, but I was just controlling myself, I'm trying to keep calm. I was walking straight. That was my only aim. And that's the thing, it was so straight. Like, the exit, it was like a hall not a hallway, but you know, like, it was straight ahead. So I was just marching straight. And then I was going down the stairs and um, I felt quite better in a way. Um, because I was out of that environment um, so I was going down the stairs and I forgot to mention also <laughs> when we arrived at the place guess what we saw on the stairs a pilot sick so that itself should have told us uh -uh, like <laughs> this place ain't good I'm joking but yeah um, so I went down the stairs and then um, uh, well, yes, yeah, so I felt quite better. Like the sweating was kind of going, my breathing was going fine, doing fine. Um, and yeah, yeah, my breathing was doing fine. And then my mom just said, "Sit down." So I sat down, and um, it went. And I just, I just didn't feel like I was here. I just felt like I don't know. And I, I, when I it happens to me all the time, not all the time, but when I'm focused on something and I don't think of anything, I'm just like, so if I'm like staring, looks like I'm staring at yourself, but like if I'm just staring, it's, I can't explain it. It's like, I feel like I'm not here, but I'm here. I don't know, it's weird. I, I don't know how to explain it, but yeah. So that's what it felt like I was here, but I wasn't here. It was weird. And um, so then, I was fine after a while after I just sat down, got some air, controlled my breathing. And yeah. So we got home. Cool. And then um recently, I think two or three weeks ago. I think it was three weeks ago. Three weeks ago, the same feeling happened again. And um not the same feeling, it was just, it was quite different, it was just because it felt, it was the same but different in a way, you know, um, my, so it felt like something was pushing, like, it was like, something heavy in my stomach pushing me down and I couldn't really breathe and, um, yeah, I just couldn't really breathe and then just that sensation in my tongue, so, yeah, and then when that happened, I said to my mum again, I don't feel right. And um, my mum called the help, not helpline, but thing to do with um, the, the hospital. Like, you asked them for advice or something. Yeah, so my mum was telling them what was happening. I was telling, I was telling my mum how I felt. So then, um, my mum was telling the person on the phone how I was feeling and then they just said don't um they said I don't mean to alarm you but we need to get paramedics over to you 
So when my mom said that, I was like, holy mother, mm. <sighs> paramedics, really? I just, it was mad. So, and they said, they said paramedics, but a woman came, one woman. But that kind of sounds sexist then. I said they, said they said paramedics, but a woman came. I didn't mean it like that. I meant to say they said paramedics, paramedics came, but only one woman came. I should have said that. Sorry, if that sounds a bit wrong. I did, I'm not sexist or anything. I just yeah. But yeah, <laughs> so she came, um, took a measure of my heart, blood pressure, um, blood. She pins my finger, and everything was cool. And she said I could have either booked an appointment the next day or she can book one for me now to go there now and because it was a weekday and I didn't want my family like their evening to be ruined I just said you might as well book an appointment tomorrow because I don't you know my mum had work my sister my dad had work and yeah so um yeah, so I just said, you know, do it tomorrow. And, um, but overall, that feeling was anxiety, anxiety and panic attack. So I was having a panic attack. So I wasn't having a heart attack, I was having a panic attack. And <laughs> that itself, when I wasn't, I'm not, not, not diagnosed, but the feeling I was having was a panic attack. So to think that, saying, hmm, me, King C, having a panic attack, really? You know, it, it, it sounds, it seems weird, but, so I'm going to be having um, counselling to talk about my problems and stuff, what I've been thinking about and what makes those panic attacks happen. I just say to my mum, it's not like, obviously I overthink. If you know me again personally, you know that I overthink and I think too much and I stress myself out but that stress and overthinking I wouldn't relate that to having a panic attack you know what I'm saying I, I, it's like I worry yes but I wouldn't assume I wouldn't I don't think that would have a result of me having a panic attack basically if that makes sense you know so yeah so that happened <laughs> and um, I think yeah in February I got a letter Yesterday, in fact, I said yesterday. I pointed at me. I'm yesterday. I'm joking, but yeah. Um, by the way, I watched Fantastic Beasts yesterday. It was really good at the cinema. Um, really good. Um, anyway, yeah. So I got letter yesterday saying I. I think it's in February. I got a, a speaking therapy thing. Like Thirty minutes on the phone, which is okay, but I'd rather do it in person. I don't really. Yeah, phone. I kind of get nervous on phone. I think I get more nervous on phone than I do in person. It's weird, I can talk to people in person, but on phone I'm kind of awkward. Depends if I know you well, yeah, but yeah. Um, so yeah, I'm good. That wasn't the reason why I stopped the videos, it's just because, again, just feeling like different emotions and just, I, I, with me, with YouTube, I like to have enough time to do videos I want to do. It's like, if I do a video, which I was doing, which I wasn't thinking about at the time, but now it's like, I just think, uh, college tomorrow, I'd rather spend a whole day or a whole night on a video or so I can, you know, you know, you know what I mean? It's like, imagine if I was recording um, in the evening, because that's the only time I'll ha I only have, oh, that's the only time I have available is in the evening to record. So it's like, when you know college is the next day and you come back from and you come back from college feeling tired, you just don't really want to do it. That's why I like to do it on the weekends or when I'm on a ho when I'm on holiday. Not on holiday like Spain or somewhere, but on holiday, the holidays. So on a hol um, Christmas holiday, I broke up on Friday. So yeah, I hope I'm gonna try and do some videos like pre-recorded, like pre-record a lot. I know I'll say that, but I won't, it won't get done. I don't want to jinx it, but I just, yeah. But college this year is it's tough, man. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah, that's about it. Um, but the update I'm gonna say to you guys is, um, uh, before the New Year's resolution, New Year's, res the New Year's come, I'll say my few New Year's resolution, new, new, my few New Year's resolution. 
I think one one will have to be um, do more YouTube stuff I think and just be, be better me and when I say better me I mean um, did you hear that? that my guinea pig does it all the time he knock, when there's no food in the bowl he knocks it down and it's not even I've got two guinea pigs Percy and Preston. How's Preston? He's a small one and he's so jarring. He's oh, he's cute but he's, he's jarring. He always knocks it down. Okay. Um, but yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, just to be better better myself, I think. I think just, I, I don't know, it's kind of like a broad statement if that makes sense. It's a broad, I'm not sure if I made the right word but like an ambiguous statement there. You know, better myself is not, it's not really describing anything but just better myself in general, you know. Well, whenever you whenever you think of being a better you, that's what it is. You know, some sort of stuff to do with health, emotions, uh, situations, and yeah. Sorry, I don't know what I'm doing. Don't want doing. This is a fail. But yeah, um, that one. Make more YouTube videos. Hopefully, I know, but I just I think too, I stress too much, and I know people do YouTube even when they have a job. And I'm stressing that I've got college, but I'm gonna try and stop thinking like that. It's just I like to get the boring stuff out of the way, you know. And then I like to concentrate on it. I have to think I like to concentrate a long period of time on things. I don't like knowing that I have to do a certain thing tomorrow, you know. It's just me. I'm that's what I'm gonna have to try and change, you know, my mentality of thinking like that. But I just like to spend time on things and not, yeah. For example, with my nan, like I adore, I adore my nan. Like when she comes over, I don't like when she comes over when it's like um, Wednesday or Tuesday. Um, I, I like it when she comes up on Friday because Friday is the last day and then the weekend, so you can just chill, relax, spend time, key key. You know what I mean, that's what um, how I basically feel. But um, enough with that. If I didn't touch on anything or anything's unclear, comment below. I am back like I never left, I'm joking, but as I said before, um, the time I didn't record was the time I could have recorded, just because me and being lazy, not laziness, but just wanting to have a long period of time to do videos, you know what I'm saying? I like to just chill and know, know that I've got no worries the next day, I can just concentrate on it, for, like, you know, but yeah. Um, if you guys haven't checked, oh yeah, I'll say this, but I'll say, um, um, the update. Um, what's the same? If you guys haven't checked out my Nighttime Drives song, please check it out. I really love that song. I mean, I really like it so much. If you guys haven't heard it, please listen to it. And the update now. Um, Evolved was. If you guys don't know, I'm preparing like a mixtape thing. It's not like a mixtape. Like here you go, here's my CD. It's fire. It's just like a project. I always call it a mixtape. Like a project. Um, called Evolved. It was going to come out this year. It's been so long overdue. Ugh. I spent, I didn't spend two years on it. That's the thing. It, it's taken two years, but I haven't spent two years on it. If that makes sense, I could have, I could have released it in 2015, but I didn't. It's because Evolved is like a journal, and journals never end. You, you, it's like journals never end. You're the, you're the one that decides if your journal ends, you know, but I feel like a story never ends, you know, there's, it's a continuous cycle, stories, stories can go on forever basically and it's just me reflecting on stuff and Evolved has changed so much, it was supposed to be about, as you'll hear on my, actually I'm going to give you a snippet, to, um, I said, um, let me play it now so you guys can no, well, Why have I made a mixtape name of all When clearly half of my puzzles are still not solved I beat myself up sometimes thinking that I'm evolved And evolve was supposed to highlight happiness and successfulness <laughs> yeah, right now I'm a bit oh, of yeah, that's it. Um, Going back to the yeah. station That's what you're gonna get, that's what I'm saying yeah, so It's changed so much, like emotions and stuff But it should be dropping Next year obviously Um next year Evolve should be dropping um yeah it's been so long overdue yeah
but I hope you guys like this video. Um, I'm gonna release a song um, in a few days, or maybe tomorrow. Actually, it depends when I finish it. I've only got my first verse done, and I need to do the second verse and mix it and whatever. So yeah, it's it's called um, "Been a Long Time" or "It's Been a Long Time." So that's been, gonna be coming out soon. And the other day, actually, I tried to record a Minecraft video, but now I wasn't feeling myself. So, but now it's like Christmas. I feel like I can do anything, and I just want to record continuously. But then, when I'm back to college, it's like, oh, but um, yeah, yeah. I just think I just stress too much, and I just hope you guys understand. And yeah, it's just me. But yeah, I hope you guys like this episode. This video, sorry. A story time of how I nearly died, or how I felt, or thought I was going to die, and the update of my projects. Yes, yeah, sorry, 2017, what you can expect. Possibly two mixtapes, or two projects, I don't know yet. A short film, um, a cooking show, um, clothing, like, fashions and stuff, and reactions, question mark. Reactions question mark. Um, I know I got loads of views and so many likes and stuff from reactions, but I just I stopped. Um, I, obviously, you guys, under, um, obviously you guys saw that I stopped. The last one I did was Leave Leisure, and I had to react to that because I love Leave Leisure. But um, yeah, wait, how long is this video? Oh, okay, sorry, I just had to check. Yeah, um, one second. Sorry. Okay. Um, no, I was just putting the screen out so I could see myself. <laughs> um, well, yeah, I had to react to that because I love Leonisha, so I just didn't do that because I feel like I'm, I don't want my channel to be about reactions. And as soon as I dropped um, Lady Leisha's, the first reaction I did was Lady Leisha, Where Are You Now? And I finished with Lady Leisha. That just shows support. Start with Lady Leisha and end with Lady Leisha. Yeah, wow. Um, Lady Leisha, if you're watching this, you should see the love. I started watching your music videos um, on my channel. Well, not started your whole song. Like, I just reacted to your song and finished with it. I'm not making sense, but yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, again, as I said, a short film you can expect. It's called, and I have to thank Light for this, for this, um, uh, what should I say for this name? <laughs> but I adjusted it at the last minute. He, it was called The People We Once Knew, and I changed it to well, I, I rolled with it, and then I was like, wait, I need to make this more like connecting to the to the to the, to the, to the short film. So I, so I named it The Life We Once Knew, and it's about zombies. So I think life sounds a bit more into that subject. You know, I, lo I like the people we once knew, but then I thought that wasn't really, it was connecting, but again, it wasn't. It was only connect, mm, but again, but I feel life is more like, whoa, the life we once knew. But again, the people we once knew sounds good, but yeah, if I do a spin off, I do the people we once knew and change. But anyway, hope you guys like this video. Um, give it a thumbs up. Um, comment, subscribe, share, do everything you can to let's help. The next video you'll be seeing is a song. Um, so, yeah, a song, sorry, I just blanked out. If you haven't. Did you hear that? People are working on a train, I hope. Ooh, but anyway, yeah, check out my Nighttime Drive song. Check out my. What other song have I released recently? No other song I've released. <laughs> I'm trying to advertise myself and I'm like, oh my god, I've got no material. No, I have, but yeah. It's coming soon, you guys. Um, I don't know if I'm going to drop another song after it's been a long time. I don't know. I was going to do a Christmas song, but then I'm like, I don't know yet. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to focus on Evolved. Evolved is like nearly done, you know. Yeah. But yeah, um, hope you guys liked it. Um, it's been your boy, Kingsley. Until next time guys, bye!